All right, so I got a call on an AC unit in the kitchen that isn't cooling. I had them check remotely and they said there was no air coming out the vents at all. But when I get here, condenser fans running. I can hear the compressors running. But over here, we got no blower. So, She spins, so it's not like the motor's locked up. So now we need to trace it back and find out why we don't have a blower motor. All right, so we open up the electrical panel. So our compressors are running and it's freezing up because the evaporator's not spinning. But if you look at our contactors, let's see here. We got first stage cooling here. Second stage cooling there is not pulled in. It looks like there's not a contactor here for the fans. It actually looks like power runs over through this uh, variable speed drive, which is always a headache. So let me dig into this and see. Okay, so let me explain what we've done here. This is the line power coming in to the fan. The right side is the line power in. So we tested with the meter from one to two, one to three, two to three. We had 210 across all of them. Then we did it over here on the fan side. 210, 210, 210. So my fuses were good. Power's moving on. Power then runs into this unit. We tested power at those terminals, one, two, and three. One to two, one to three, two to three, 210. That one says motor. We tested it there. We had nothing. And if you look, I don't think I'll get it with the camera. So you see the power light is on and also the fault light is on. So our problem is 100% in this variable speed drive. This has a bunch of sensors, temperature sensors, that run to various places, and then it controls the speed of the blower. What I'm gonna do just to double confirm that, is we're gonna kill the power. Remember, we tested this coming out of here. I've got my voltage to run the fan. You can see there, uh, there are quick connects on all three of these. So here's my fan motor. There are also quick connects on all three of these. The manufacturer has it that I can jump this out, I think. Yep, male end here, female end here. We can kill the power, plug these in, turn it back on, and when the fan motor starts, we know absolutely confirmed our VFD is the problem. I'm gonna do some homework because I don't know what the fault light means, if that's something we can reset, but follow up shortly. All right, so I want to recap. She's running. My power was good coming out of the fuses. The manufacturer built this to be bypassed. This is the black wire from the motor. This is the black wire from the fuses. It used to run into this side and out of that side. Now this isn't even connected. And my power is running straight to my motor. So my motor's gonna run all the time right now. It's gonna run 24 hours a day, but it's the blower motor. It can do that for a few days while I sort out, do we replace this or do we bypass it with a contactor? But this is the kitchen, it's gotta get up and running. So we're gonna close this up and do some research on that and let you know what the final decision is.